I remember the first time I wanted to kill him. I mean, don't get me wrong, he meant well. They all do. But goddamn. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder if this was all his fault. Look what I made for Raj. You're late. I'm gonna be an artist when I grow up. You do what you love, honey. Don't encourage him. Art's not a real job, it's a hobby. Hey. Our little Michelangelo. Look. This is you. This is how much of a chance you have of becoming an artist. That expression. Think outside the box. As an artist, I'm cursed to do this by nature. Like a noose around my neck. What a joke. There is no box, man. Ryan. Gotta stop sponging off of us. Excuse me? You're gonna have to start supporting yourself, now. Dad, I gotta do at least 20 paintings to have a gallery show, and then I make money. It's not a hobby. I want you the hell out of here. I guess from my dad. It's a gun. What's that saying? You gotta leave home and go deep into the forest if you ever want to meet your soul. Something like that. Maybe the answer is out there. Somewhere. I just know I gotta get away from that daily poison. My head is so full of shit. I just wanna pop it. Like a big, useless zit. <sighs> Mr. Optimistic. What a sham. Ah. Maybe I'll just get a new head. <laughs> Good times. My new home. What do you think? 
Where do you sleep? Sleep? I'm there to paint. Priya, let's go. Where do you think you're going? We did our part. We're going shopping. Have fun. Directions for Tahata. We got lost from your directions. Those are the ones he left. Raj, bitta, you forgot your cell again. End of wallet too. Thank you, Mom. No wonder he always forgets things. You always pamper him. Oh, be quiet. Come on, Ryan. Let's do puja to bring some prosperity to you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. First time I saw a puja ceremony, <laughs> I was blown away. A beautiful, mystical explosion of color, sound, taste, and fire. I didn't understand why I was so drawn to it, but the puja had me hooked. Pujana Saman Kanche. Ubire, Kotuchu. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Somebody bought that house. Got your lunch, dickhead. Arr. Cool. That Shiva, he's a very angry god. He destroys all evil. I'll be back because I'm the destroyer of all evil. You can have it. Really? Thanks. Hey, what you got there, kiddo? The angry god. Yeah? Let me see that. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Raj gave it to me. He's from India. You listen to me. There is no god. It's a bunch of crap. Now, you stay away from those Hare Krishnas, you hear me? Yep. Give me a little spritz. Shazam. Just grow, baby. Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shankar Bole. Sab Devo Me Divin Bale, Jai Bam Bam Bole. Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shiva Shankar, Jai Shankar Bole. Sab Devo Me Divin Bale, Jai Bam Bam Bole. Mahadev tumne hi to sab devon ka uddhar kiya God damn it, Ryan! Get out of here! Get out of here! Come on, come on, come on, hurry up! Get over here! Damn it! You little twerp, you kill my tree! Sir, I'm very sorry. It's my fault. I did it. Yeah? The hell you did. Listen, you. Trees are sacred, all right? You are not. I remember.
remember those words like they were etched in my skull. You're not sacred. Then he took me into the bathroom, stripped me naked, threw me in a tub of icy water, and whipped me over and over with that cold, prickly tree. That was worth less than a friggin' tree. That's when I started to believe in him. I mean, if there really was a heaven or a God, how could all this be? It felt more like hell. I just wanted to find the door out. What are you looking at, Ryan? You like to cook? Nah, I just don't cook. Can I have some of your clay? This isn't clay, silly. This is burrito. Jai Shiv Shankar, Jai Shiv Shankar, Jai Shankar Bhole. Sab Devo Me Dev Nirale, Jai Bam Bam Bhole. Jai Shiv Shankar, Jai Shiv Shankar, Jai Shankar Bhole. Sab Devo Me Dev Nirale, Jai Bam Bam Bhole. महादेव तुमने ही तो सब देवों का उत्थान किया सागर मंथन में The puja ceremony somehow filled a void. So unlike my bland, bullshit life. I didn't quite get the meaning, but I liked the mystery. So rich and colorful, bizarre, almost spiritual. For a moment, I started to believe there was some immense cosmic force at work. Like I almost wanted to believe in something more. Hey, big bro. The master at work. John, what are you doing? This is my home. Put it out. Hey. John, what are you doing? 
It's not some bar, it's my home. And it's a lovely home. Ugh. How's work? It's not exactly my dream job. Well, Michelangelo, do not like that. What do you want? I need money. <laughs> what do I look like, a bank? Come on, just a couple of bucks to get me through the month. No. Why? So you can buy your booze? I ain't giving you shit, John. Hey, what about your rich, uh, your rich India friend? You can mooch off him, can't you? John, I am not mooching off Raj. Well, then get me a job. No. Why the hell not? Because a job takes commitment. People have to depend on you. I wonder if you're going to come into work and in what condition. Don't lecture me about commitment. Where were you for me? You left me alone with dad, that son of a bitch. While you were always off with that family. You had Raj. You had that. I got nothing. Listen, John. Julie's having a party tonight. Why don't you come? I'll ask around and see what I can do. Okay? Thanks. This kind of art is on a, it's on a collector level. And only a few galleries have the clientele to sell this type of art. And I'm not one of them. Come on, man. Give me a chance. My art's so good, why can't I get a freaking show? I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm leveling with you. Ever hear the phrase, dirty little secret? I was a photographer. Damned good one, too. Every once in a while, I'd meet someone with state-of-the-art equipment. Ate at all the best restaurants, stayed in the nicest hotels. And then one day, I met one of these guys. <laughs> Turns out his parents are millionaires, and he's living off a trust fund. He isn't taking photos because he has to, because he loves it. He's doing it because he was bored. And it's the same thing in the art world. It's a rich man's hobby, and that's the dirty little secret. Good luck, kid. Late night, Van Gogh? Oh, yeah. Burn the midnight oil. Sorry to interrupt you, ladies, but we got customers.
Hey, Muhammad, why don't you try one of your own? What? What'd you say, bitch? You got something to say? Why don't you go ahead and say it now? What are you mute? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, what's up, tough guy, Mr. Orangutan Man? We'll take care of this. No, he's got something to say. Why don't you go ahead and say it, man? Do you want to help clean this up? Come on, man. Yeah. All right. Shake it off. You okay? Thanks, bro. Bro. I thought I was your brother. So tell me, Ryan, I want to paint your portrait. Is this your pickup line? Only for exotic Indian girls. What about this exotic Indian girl? <laughs> you know, for an artist, you don't have a romantic bone in your body. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. I'll show you. I promise not to laugh. I see a line of Picasso in your hair. The color of Velasquez in your skin. The light of Monet in your eyes. And the passion of Renoir in your lips. Beautiful girl. I still remember the first time I saw her face. Oh my god. I was so turned on. I almost jumped out of my skin. Priya was an exotic goddess. It was kind of like the first time I saw a puja ceremony. Such a visual feast. I wanted to eat her up. The nagging question was, what the hell did she see in me? Ah, who cares? Ryan, can you paint that? Piece of cake. Yeah, except all the buildings would be skulls. No, not all the buildings. Some will be naked women. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder crazy. He was like
He's looking in my eyes. You graduated from art school three years ago. What's your plan? Yeah, business strategy, cash flow, profit margins. It's not computer hardware, it's art. It's what I love to do. It's what I have to do. Good. You must be fearless in life. Papa, what are you saying? What are the odds of him making it as an artist? He's better off playing the lottery. This is necessary for his karma. Why won't you let me take risks? Maybe that's my karma. Your karma lies elsewhere. This you must accept. Art is Ryan's strength. A Spartan life. My Gandhiji! <laughs> we should get him a dhoti. <laughs> <laughs> dhoti. It's like a big diaper. Oh. You know, like the one Mahatma Gandhi wore. And he brought down the entire British Empire wearing only that. Julie, in India, men wear dhotis and women wear saris. In the olden days, trains did not have proper restrooms. So when the train would stop, women would go on one side of the tracks and men would go to the other side. Since they wore loose-fitting clothes, they would simply lift and go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ram was like a breath of fresh air. I mean, the guy looked like a kook. But he told these funny stories and he made me laugh. He always talked about karma, the gods, all this spiritual shit. It was cool. It was a lot better than hearing about what a piece of crap I was. I think he believed in me more than I did. just told us so much about you. Thank you. And this is for you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, why don't you come in? Please huh? come in. He still believes there's gold in them there hills. You must be a big Hollywood fan. Uh, why do you say that? You have so many movies. Oh, those. You see, I tape a lot of history specials. You watch a lot of films? I do, I do, but they are Hindi, Indian films, though. They kind of remind me of home. Bollywood films, lots of silly singing and dancing. Uh, oh, be quiet, Ram. No, they aren't silly at all. Bollywood? No, Bollywood, the Hollywood of India. Jeremia. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah Johnson. Oh, it's a great film. Did you see it? No, no. Is it a musical? No. About a mountain man. Oh, he loves to tell this story. I'll go get changed. Oh, I'll, I'll call the kids and then I'm gonna go check on dinner. Okay. Jeremiah Johnson, liver eating Johnson, gets his supplies, heads off into the wilderness where he hunts grizzlies and buffalo and he traps beaver. Eventually, he comes in contact with a tribe of flathead Indians and becomes smitten with the chief's daughter, a swan. He trades the chief his 
best horses in exchange for her hand. It's kind of like a dowry, right? So he sets off into the wilderness for a spell, and when he returns, the swan is gone. Well, he looks around for her, can't find her. Finally, he finds her body. Her head was caved in! Well, from the Indian signs around her body, he figured out, oh, it was the Crow Indians that killed her. So in revenge, he hunts them down, one by one, and kills them! Here's the part that they didn't tell me about in the film. They couldn't show it because it's too real for Hollywood. After he kills them, he slices open their stomachs. And then he eats their livers raw. <laughs> Look here, Beta. I know this man's parents very well settled. Amrik is number one in his class at Stanford. He's studying to be a doctor. Papa, first I have to finish my studies. You're not 18 anymore. It's time you settle down. So now I'm an old maid? What about Raj? He's older than I am. Raj is next. Look here. Sanjay graduated with a PhD in computer science. He's director at Microtech. Very well positioned. Mommy. Oh, look at this one. Rajan. Good looking man. My absolute favorite one. The retractable landing gear. That was the first ones to have that. Right. Yeah. Wow, isn't she beautiful? She? Look at that, the F-5. Both American soldiers win a 40-0 victory over a Soviet-trained Iraqi pilots. What? Nothing. <laughs> Don't tell me what he's smiling no, about. No, you're funny. Why? I have never seen you as excited about your MBA. Uh, I'm so sick of computers and math and crunching numbers. There's no end to it. Well, then why don't you just do something that you love? I mean, I'm no Einstein, but I know you'd love to fly. I mean, why did you drag me here? I want to surround myself with the two things I love most. Oh, I'm so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> He used to talk about the god Shiva, the creator and the destroyer. I like the paradox. Two elements that don't seem to jive, but they end up making this really interesting, beautiful thing. Shiva was like a piece of art. Why did he have that damn cobra around his neck? Look more like a noose. Was it to protect him? Or destroy him? Or both? Ram tells me you want to join the business. I can use a sales manager. Oh, thanks, Uncle, but actually... Raj has many opportunities. It's important he gets a stake in the company. Of course. But sales is a great way to learn the business. His MBA demands a senior level position. What sort of position are you looking for, Raj? Well... <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? You had six years to think about this. I mean, I'm just not sure that I want to spend the rest of my life crunching numbers. I might want to get my pilot's license. Can you believe this? My son, the dreamer. You make it sound like it's some lowly position or something. I didn't sacrifice the last 20 years of my life so you can slave for someone else. My son will be a CEO. What are you talking about? It's not like I'm trying to be some artist or something. 
Look at Ryan, he's not a CEO and you completely support him. Ryan is different. How? He comes from a different culture, a different class of people. How can you reach the top of Mount Rainier if you aim for the bottom? What? You and Ryan make a good team. You are the brains and he is the brawn. <laughs> Papa, why mm. don't I do chores? There's a saying, a cobbler's son will be a cobbler. You notice how uh, Ryan's father always does manual labor? Ryan will do the same. You are destined to be a leader. Congratulations, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Congratulations. Very nice. You did it, brother. Thank you, Priya. <laughs> Congratulations, Raj. Thank you. Good I job. appreciate all your help. All right, no problem. Good luck. Congratulations, Beta. Please take a picture. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. Are you sure this is what you want? Doesn't matter what I want. Yeah, it does. And this is your life. You might as well be happy. Are you happy? I'm doing what I love. You call washing dishes and being up to your ears in garbage doing what you love? Hey, bro, I'm just doing that till I get my show. You're behind on rent and you haven't sold a damn thing the whole time you had that studio. It takes time. I'm finding my voice. You know what? You've been saying that for years now. I think you're ever gonna find it. Hey, so Ryan, you're no artist. Yeah? Well, at least I'm not a sellout like you. Chasing money because you don't have the guts to tell your father you want to live your own life. Oh, right. Money's not important. Great philosophy. Follow your bliss. Look what's gotten you, dishwasher. You're too much of a pussy to fight for what you want. Letting your dad run your life. At least he didn't kick me out of my own house. He actually cares what happens to me and wants me to be safe, not on the streets where I gotta hear gunshots. I sleep in a bed, Ryan. You sleep on the floor like a homeless person. Face it, man. You're a total failure. Follow your bliss. Do what you love. What a bunch of shit. Karma. So was my karma to be a freaking dishwasher? Hey. Maybe I could be the singing dishwasher. Karma, 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 chameleon. I wash your plates. I wash your clothes. Yeah. Good old good times. Just like Snow White. I want to see the painting of my daughter. Okay, it's right here. Take a look. Good. Yes, indeed you are painting her portrait. I'll come back to pick you up later, Peta. See you, Mr. Shaw. Here you go. 
about? What was that all about? Oh, he insisted on dropping me off. What's this? It's an invitation to my uncle's party. Which uncle? Uncle Haresh. The rich uncle, the one who owns all those computer franchises. The one who just hired Raj. Oh, oh. Hi, I'm Katie Klein with the Klein Gallery. I got your slides. Mind if I look around? Sure, go ahead. You are so cute, by the way. Hmm. Can I get you a cup of chai? Excuse me? I mean a cup of coffee. Can I get you a cup of coffee? No, fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, thanks. Huh. Well, you've got talent. I mean, seriously, a lot of talent. And I love this pile of dead stuff here. This is great. You know, you've got a lot of potential. But um, I can't show this work. <laughs> no, you're not ready. Excuse me? You've got Rembrandt over here, okay? You've got Michelangelo here. And you've got Van Gogh over here. You need to make a statement. You need to find your voice. You need to say something. I'll be back in another year or so. Bye, kids. Make you some chai? Maybe she's right. Maybe my dad's right too, and Raj. Maybe I do suck. I mean, look at all this crap. Don't listen to them. You're really good. You have to believe that. I do. I believe in you. Priya, oh, I got you che. Chupre, dikra jam rakoche to be ocho you. I treat you like a son. How dare you betray my trust? You of all people should know better. Have you lost your mind? Is this the best you can do? A dishwasher? He does not come for money. In life, you need money and connections he has neither. May I say something? Chupre! Some... What a family. Ryan always said that art is his true love. What about Raj? This does not apply to him. Why? Why, because he's a boy? Typical Indian double standard. Raj is busy studying and working at Harish's business. Yeah, Raj is busy, all right. Studying Julie. Those two are practically engaged. Hello, Beta. Hello, Ryan.
Honey, you knew about this and you didn't tell me. Don't build a wall around children. You moved us to America. What did you think would happen? We moved to America for better opportunity, not to destroy a 5,000-year-old culture. Raj, what are you doing with this car? Hmm? Look at her family. She comes from divorced parents, typical American. I'm not dating her family. Family is everything. Don't kid yourself. A foreigner will never fit in. How are we ever going to fit in when you see us as foreigners? There is no fitting in. You're a young man. Concentrate on your work and your studies. That's it. I will find you a nice Indian girl to marry. When people tell you you're a piece of shit long enough, I think you actually start to smell like one. Then no one wants to be around you anymore. Hey, look at me everyone. I'm a useless piece of crap. Better not come too close. something more but what the hell is it are you okay something's in your mind isn't it better tell me tell me what it is I, um, I broke up with Julie. <laughs> but you love her? Raj, Beta, you must listen to your heart. You know, Papa means well, but, but even he went against his parents' wishes when it came to marriage, yes. You know something? Papa's parents, Dada and Dadi, they never liked me because I was from a lower caste. And he had arranged for his marriage, another girl. But he chose me in his love marriage. You shouldn't give up. Ryan better. Hey. What are you doing here? Well, Priya tells me that you must work many hours now. And a mother has a right to check up on her son, don't she? Oh. <laughs> so how's everything going? It's been better. Listen, Beta, I need to ask you a big, big favor. Sure, anything. I want you to come to my brother's party. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to, but... I really don't think Mr. Shaw wants me around. Don't be so hard on him. You see, in the heat of the moment, people say things in anger that they don't really mean. How's Raj? Same for him too. You both said things that you didn't mean. Now, about the party, bring Julie. Yes? Okay. Bye.
Mr. Shaw, what are you doing here? Well, we were invited. Come with me, Priya. Mohan, thanks. Oh, what can I get for you? Mohan here is a neurosurgeon. He's top of his class at Harvard. He's so good they call him Butterfingers. My daughter Priya. Karma, 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 the destiny. Connection strong and is given life. Karma, karma is meant to be. No matter what you do, it's your destiny. I can't even look at Priya without Ram glaring at me. This wasn't my intention at all. I'm so sorry. Where the hell is Raj? Mommy, Julie. Hey! Suchaleche! You betray me again! Ram, this is not betraying. Ryan, what don't you understand but stay away from my family? What seems to be the problem here? These two are ruining my family, they are destroying my children. Don't you think you're overreacting? How can this beautiful young lady, this Rani, destroy anybody's family? He's destroying my family. Me? I came here as a favor to Gayatri. Tell Raj you forgot this.
Sometimes it's easier just to stay in bed. Greasy hair. Smelly pajamas. Yeah. Good old good times. Art. What a joke. Nobody cares about art anymore. Going to galleries. Yeah. Let's just stay at home and stare at our computers all night. Maybe surf a little porn. That's the new god, man. Hey, shit. He was right all along. And I just couldn't see it. Art's not a real job. It's a useless hobby. More like a prison. You copy this stuff? What? I don't know. It's like I've seen these paintings before. In books and stuff. What are you talking about, John? I don't know. It just looks like you're doing stuff I've already seen somewhere. Like it's not really you. Like you got no personal style. So when did you become an art critic? <laughs> when I'm writing, I ask myself, how can I put my ideas down unique only to me? Otherwise, it's just words on paper. So I, uh, I mix it up. I experiment. I listen to my gut. Really, John, I didn't know you were a writer. Well, how would you? You were never around. Ah. I remember when she was just a sweet little thing. The artist falls for his muse. Why are you banging her?
I remember the exact moment the poison left my body. All this intense shit coming out of me. The brainwashing, the lies, like a ritual cleansing. The 30 year fog had lifted. <laughs> Funny thing, after all these years of hating my dad, I suddenly felt sorry for him. Rome, too. So why do the dream crushers want to change us from the moment we get here? Why can't they see who we really are? How are you holding up? I'm on automatic pilot. How about you? The same. You heard from Raj? Not since he moved out. Really? He hasn't called Papa since. The house is so quiet, Julie. I don't even want to go home anymore. Wow. I didn't know he had it in him. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but for an Indian son to just leave the house like that... Like Papa says, if we were still in India, this would have never happened. Hmm. I wish there was something that I could do. I think he just needs time to figure things out. How's Ryan? Lost his job. Overtime will cover the studio until next month, but after that... He misses you. Why don't you talk to him? I don't know. The art just seems to be like the love of his life. <sighs> Maybe we're just not meant to be. I mean, between the cultural issues and... Where do I fit in? had some weeks that needed fix. Jesus Christ. It's like monsoon season in here. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, all right. Look, I'm gonna leave you the ladder and the tools, all right? Because, uh, I guess he did the best he could.
Look at this. An invitation to art gallery. They are displaying Ryan's work and we are invited. Don't do this, Ram. Why are you doing this? Don't let your fear destroy our children's lives. We came here for freedom and opportunity, right? And yet, we are denying our children the most personal freedom to love whom they choose, just as we did. You did mail out all the invitations, right? Yes, right. All of them. Did they call? Are they coming? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Oh, job. Jack, look at this. Yeah. That's so good. That's hey, you. That's Let me take your picture. Well, well, I want to look at the hat. No, no, no. Turn around. Well, Let me take your a, picture. Turn job. around. Well, well, OK, smile. Right. OK. So maybe now you can write that novel, get published. Yeah. Yeah, the publishing business. It's not about talent. It's who you know and who you blow. One day at a time. One day at a time. Oh. The muse. Hmm. Is she here? Well, go get her, Romeo. It's not that simple. I mean, you know her father. So? This is the great American melting pot. So start stirring, buddy. Go get her. everything you've dreamed of. Listen, kiddo. You've gone against everything I ever taught you. Took a lot of guts. But you're still not eating your liver raw, are you? You still don't have the girl. Reach for Christ's sakes, huh? Come on. brought me here. I don't like this arts. Papa, don't start this now. This is important for Ryan. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you. Congratulations, Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan.
at what you've done. That's right. Bhagwan did it. I want you not to. to That's enough. Is this what you want, Beta? Yes, Papa. As I got older, I learned what the real, untainted Hindus believe. At least some of them, anyway. They believe that children are the messengers of God. And it's actually the children who are here to teach the rest of us how to be. Not the other way around. They say we should never abuse them, hit them, or try to change who they came here to be. And I get the God thing now. Hindus worship so many damn gods because they believe the creative energy of God is everywhere, in all things, that everything is sacred, everything especially a child. An old Hindu named Rashish told me that all things are connected and related. So if you tell a child you're ugly or stupid or you'll never become that, not only does the energy damage the child, but through karma it ends up affecting everyone else too. And eventually, years later, or in another life, it comes back to you. That is, unless you break the chain. son. I realized the poison was finally all gone. I was free. 
and so was he. Daddy, what's what I made? What you got there? I made a dinosaur T-Rex. Wow, that's really cool, buddy. Daddy? Yeah, bud. Someday, can I be an artist just like you? You know what, little buddy? You can be anything you want. Let us leave the dark behind Let us see the way we shine Let us know we're not insane Let us see we're all the same Let us move into the light Let us know dark behind let us see the way we shine let us love without a thought the kind of love that can't be bought let us run out in strong in this given life karma karma is meant to be no matter what you do it's your destiny Thank you. 
karma, 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 karma di destiny, karma di destiny. Tu anak, main anak, tu kahan main ka? Tu anak, main anak, tu kahan main ka? Dhup cha. Chao.